Hey, this is Peter bringing you another PyotNet add-ons for Elementor tutorial. And in this video, we're going to talk about the form abandonment extension that is available under the PyotNet add-ons for Elementor form builder. So let's get started. On my website, I've got a very simple layout with just a single form and I've created a simple multi-step form just to show you what I'm on about in terms of form abandonment. So what is form abandonment? It gives me the ability to capture a user's information as he fills it in into the form without submitting the submit button, which is really important. Sometimes people come onto the website, they start filling in a form and halfway through they give up on the activity for whatever reason. And I'd like to be able to store that information um, as lead information if possible. What's really important to remember here as well is the, the form abandonment option works on both PyotNet forms, simple form, multi-step form, as well as just the out-of-the-box Elementor simple and multi-step forms as well. So let's jump over to the back end and just take a look at some of the simple things that I need to set up on this form over here. Okay, so if I click on the multi-step form that I've created over there, you'll see that I have a form abandonment option available, which is currently switched off. But before I do that, it's really two simple settings that I need to configure in order for form abandonment to work. So I'm gonna get back to the back end and into the PyotNet add-on settings, and I have to ensure that I've got the PyotNet form abandonment extension activated, and bear in mind that it is only available if you have the pro version of PyTNet add-ons. Heading then back over to the form, onto the multi-step form, all I have to do is enable the PAIF form abandonment extension. I'll hit update and I'll jump over to the front end of the form to take a look at how that works. I'll do a quick refresh here and just very simply, I'll start by filling in some user information. I get to the phone number, I add that in, I put the email address, and then I click next. Now, when I reach this point, I opt out of the form. I do not hit submit, I move on to another page. So I'm just gonna, for the intent and the purpose of this, I'm just gonna hit the refresh button just to reset that form. So remember, I didn't hit the submit button, and then I'm gonna jump back over into my PyotNet settings, and under the form abandonment database, I'm gonna go and hit a refresh over there. And what you'll see here is I've got another test here as well, which is test and this is test two. And you can see that this is the latest submission. So if I just head back over to this form here and you can see that the form ID of this is test two. So back onto the form abandonment, I've got a form ID here that's test two. It is a status of abandonment. And if I click into that record, you'll see that here I've captured the information that I intended to. So I've got the user's email address, I've got his name, I've got his last name, and I have his phone number. Now, furthermore, I could potentially have thousands of records in this form abandonment database, and I'd like to be able to also filter through uh, the information that I have captured. So right at the top here, you've got a couple of standard WordPress features, bulk actions to edit, move to trash, etc. And then I've got filters where I can filter through the dates of submission, I can select the different types of forms that I've captured the abandonments on, and then I can select a filter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select test two, hit filter, and it'll then just show me all of the abandonment captures for that particular form. And the same if I jump back to the other option, it'll just do so. And on the right hand side, I've got the option to, just as described there, click on the filter and then click here to export this as a CSV file. So I'm gonna hit that, go to my downloads, grab that form and here you can see I have the data that I've just exported in a comma delimited format. Next I'll jump back to the front end of my site where I've now gone and replaced the PyotNet form that I had previously with a simple elemental form. So I'm going to go back to the back end here so you can see that I've got a form element here which is just a normal elemental form. And here again, I have the option to enable or disable the PAIF form abandonment. So just before I do so, you'll see that I've got a form name here, which is new form. I'm just gonna leave that as is for all intents. And I'm gonna go to the form abandonment and I'll enable that. I'll hit update. I'll jump back to the front end of the site. 
do a quick refresh there and then I'll just add some user information here as well. So I'm not going to save the form. I'll hit the refresh button just to reload it. And then just to show you then heading back to the PyTNet add-ons form abandonment database you'll now see that it's refreshed and it's given me that new record under the form ID, which is also abandonment. And if I click into that record, you'll see that I've now captured the same information. And that's as simple as it is, form abandonment in two easy steps. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you found it useful or helpful, please let us know. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications and stay tuned for more great content. Bye for now.